Judge Mathis star from the Judge Mathis show, wife Linda Reese has filed for divorce after 39 years of marriage, U.S. Weekly can confirm. Linda filed paperwork on August 22nd, citing irreconcilable differences according to the court documents obtained. She listed their date of separation as July 17th and is asking for spousal support. TMZ was first to report the news. The TV judge and Linda married in June 1985 and have four adult children, Jade, 39, Camera, 36, Greg Jr., 35, and Amir, 34. The family briefly starred on the short-lived E! reality show, Mathis Family Matters, in 2022. Salute class and welcome to the studio where we learn how not to be a dummy from some well-paid dummies. We follow the celebrities, the actors, the entertainers, the athletes. We follow them, we study them and learn how they move and they behave because we will learn and know how these regular folks, how the folks that attach their feelings and emotions, we gonna learn how they behave. And guys, in reference to my last video, one of the last videos I put out with the young NBA, the, the NBA young boy, a lot of y'all is in the comment section losing y'all mind. We need y'all to detach y'all feelings and emotions. This is a reaction channel, which means I get content, I get the clearance for the content, and I react to the content. Now the title read, he is sentenced to life in prison. Now, if he get that, that's a different case. We know that he got 10 years, but the video was recorded before he got the 10 years. You guys got to you, you guys got to stop. You got to stop. You got to go get yourself fixed and healed. Now, let's get on with today's show. Judge Mathis' wife files for divorce. And this is tough, guys. Judge Mathis' wife is divorcing him after 39 years of marriage. So when I tell you that great divorce is on a rise, it is on a rise. And all of this shows is that for a lot of women, a lot of women used the system of marriage to, to get a, a retirement plan. So she faked it till she made it in this relationship with this man. Faked it till she made it not giving him wholehearted love and affection because when you love somebody you just don't die off and these women they got a funny way of love they want us to love the same way until the end until they don't feel the same love and a lot of the times these women when you ask them why they want to get a, a, a divorce these old ones they're going to say things like he don't treat me like he used to and that's sickening because man People grow up. Now you see this guy, like a guy like Judge Mathis. It's funny to me, cause now he played a judge his whole career. Now he fitting to go face a judge. But a guy like Judge Mathis, this guy not a thug. I mean, he might've been out there in them streets because he grew up in a poverty neighborhood, single mother raised, but that don't make you a hardened criminal. So he, he got a checkered past, but it ain't like he was an OG or anything. So this is your common man. This is your average man who turned his life around, pour into a woman. These modern women are like flake flowers, bro. You ever poured into a fake plant, it's not gonna grow. And this is why they tell you, oh, he don't treat me like he used to. Because while you growing, you out of that honeymoon phase. The honeymoon phase over. You know it's time to work now. Now it's time to build, build. Cause a whole lot of money gets spent in that honeymoon phase, whining and dining her. Somebody got to foot that bill. So you do a lot of time in this marriage getting serious, taking life serious, while she do a lot of time longing for this marriage to be the same as it was in the very beginning forgetting that you got to snap out of the honeymoon phase and come help me get the work 
so we could dig ourselves out of this marriage by state debt that marriage put us in. Because that's how it be getting you guys too, ladies. Y'all put all this pressure on the man to marry y'all. He go into debt, marrying, marrying y'all, proving y'all love. Because mind you, love not supposed to be monetized. Anything that God left us here for us is not supposed to be monetized. And if anybody's monetizing it, then it's satanic. But in any way, you know how y'all do. Because y'all using these marriages as y'all retirement plan. Y'all using these marriages as a way to trick a man into commitment so that you can extract all his resources Play let's pretend, give him fake love for as long as y'all gonna pretend in these marriages only to then void the contract and get incentivized for it. You see, so that's why gray divorces is up because women ain't dumb no more. Our grandmothers and grandma moms was stupid. These new women through the waves of feminism are smart and slick. They are slicker. This is just crazy. When it comes to their relationship, they apparently are a lot like many other couples in their age group. That's right. The divorce rate among people in their 50s and 60s is soaring. Jessica Formosa takes a look at what's causing these couples to call it quits. After almost three decades of marriage, have decided to end their relationship. Their type of divorce has a name, great divorce, which simply means a split after age 50. I will say, I think those marriages were already having their issues. It's not like they were so happy right before, and then all of a sudden they decided. Divorce among middle-aged couples are on the rise. Data shows more than one in four people over the age of 50 are calling it quits. Jennifer Zucker is the co-founder of Project Soulmate. For in business, I just see a lot more people coming to us that are separated, that are older and are not even divorced yet. And this is the population that we're talking about right now. She says the pandemic has a lot to do with it. Couples spending more time together and realizing the relationship is not what it used to be. I think what's happened also for the past year is people just realize like life is too short, you know, and to live a life the rest of your years unhappy, why? Experts say by the age of 50, many experience major life transitions, like becoming empty nesters. Now, for the first time since before they had children, the couple are by themselves again. And they are forced to confront each other and look at each other in a new and different way. Dr. Jephtha Tauzik, a clinical psychologist, says couples can grow apart over the years. People tend to be healthier now uh, well into middle age than before. And they're now looking at the next portion of their lives in a different way. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Young guys, let this be examples, y'all. Let this just be examples. Young ladies as well, salute to my sisters with sense. But let this be examples, y'all. Don't go getting married, trying to fix or already hurt, damaged relationship. Don't go having a baby thinking it's going to fix. Uh, no, all you do is prolong the inevitable. Once you give the female the theme that she's desperately living in and want to live in, once you give it to her, she have nothing else, nothing else but to do but get rid of you. And one thing I want to add with the great divorce, and I think it's a, test, a testament to the people that do get to at least have all their kids adults before they make this move. You know what I mean? I respect that. I respect the Bill Gates and them. I respect this family. They have no babies. All of their kids are adults before they make this move. So I will say, okay, you ain't got to stay with somebody that you don't love. Once you complete the assignment, then go be happy. Go be happy, but I would love to see what's next for a 50, 60 year old woman. And what's next? Just loneliness? It's that bad, huh? You want to be lonely that bad. You just want to be by yourself that bad. It's, it's, you just want to be free. You just want variety. Now it's about variety because when you get in that age, it can only be variety. You want all shapes and all sizes with the vein in it, right? Let me guess, you want all shapes and all sizes with the vein in it. 
because you only got a chance to en enjoy one vein in it. Nasty, 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 nasty. And this is why the young girls is the way they are, guys. This is why the young girls is the way they are. Y'all, I ain't going to hold y'all much longer. Let's take it to the comment section. Also, hit that video that's about to pop up on the screen right now. It's fire.